live on the Paul Pluta channel. Today, we're doing a really cool collection review. This guy sent me 50 bucks. Now, I've actually, this guy here, I've actually done a review myself. I haven't uploaded it yet. I'm going to be uploading it today. But I thought me and Clive could also attack the same collection because this is a really interesting, interesting uh, question he's asking. Before we do that, Clive, I want to give you a fun fact. Can I give you a fun fact? Sure. I love, I love. Lady. Lady. I love. Lady. I love music. I would like to have music piped into my home, Clive. Okay. They have this thing called the internet. But Muzak is just no voices, just instrumentals. You understand? Session musicians, anonymous session session musicians. Hey, Alexa, play Muzak. Here's a station you might like, Disciple, from Amazon Music. <laughs> I think Alexa, it. stop. The internet. Yes, I particularly want music from the early 80s, if you don't mind. I like the Barbara Streisand hits done via music. Alexa, play music for homosexuals. <laughs> Here's a station you might like. Holy yeah. fuck, they actually have one. No swearing, Clive. Okay, that's enough now, Clive. Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. Okay, now, Clive. I want to talk to you about this wonderful collection this guy's got. Well, he's asking a question. Sorry, I don't know how real it is, but he has he has given me 50 bucks. So that's good enough okay. for me. Here we go. Hi, Arch. Here we go. Let's read this here now, Clive. Hi, Arch. Appreciate if you don't mention my name. Love your channel. Keep it up and stay loose. Sent you $50 because I'm generous. Look forward to hearing and seeing your video on this topic. I'm on the edge of a big purchase and want to know what you think. I have a stainless steel Submariner with date, which I've owned for about 20 years since new, and I'm keen to get another in the stable. Currently buying secondhand, but I'm not into trading watches, so prefer... Currently buying secondhand, but not into trading, so prefer new, especially for the next piece. Which one should I get? Well, I, I think if he's wanting to get one... No, no, I've got a list. i got a list, Clive. i got a list. We're going to discuss well, it. I've got a list of these things, baby. Slow down, well, Clive. Slow down. For, is he going to get one for the stable? Is he going to get an in manure? No, no, no. This is serious. Serious okay. money, Clive. Sorry. Gotcha. Serious, serious money, Clive. Okay. Now, let's look at the contenders. The contenders. Here we go, Clive. Number one. Number one. Watch number one. What do you think, Clive? It's well, a yeah. Rolex Ever Rose. Nice. Gold, day date, 41 mil with green face and Romans. Reference 228235. Well, I could I could see getting green with rose gold for like maximum contrast. I mean, um, yeah, I could see that. Valid choice. You'd have to haggle to get a discount, but wouldn't you, Clive? I wouldn't be going into an AD and just buying that, would you? I think you could buy a year-old one and no one would know. Exactly. That is a beautiful piece, I must say. It is beautiful, okay? Yes. Agreed? Yes, absolutely. 
Okay. And, and a year old piece is just as beautiful. Okay, next piece, Clive. Let's look at the next piece he's actually looking at here. And uh, I'll tell you the next one. Just hang on. I'm just bringing it up, Bubba. Bring in the next one up. If I can find it. Here it is. Sorry. Apologies. This is one of your favorites, Clive. Rolex, 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 yellow gold Daytona. Actually, I don't know why I, I had chocolate one here. Sorry, this is yellow gold Daytona with black face and yellow sub dials. I got the wrong one, Clive. That's okay. You get the picture anyhow. You know what I'm yeah. harking about. Right. Uh, yeah, okay, fair enough. That's that's that is a, a cool piece. The third choice, Clive. The third you know, choice. Actually, actually, I think that'd be an excellent uh piece if you're going out and timing bitly races. Okay. If you wanted to if you needed to see okay. how quickly your chauffeur could handle you hand you the great bouffant, that is your watch. That is the that is the watch. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Here's another one in the same league. Automars PGA Royal Oak Offshore Chrono with Chocolate Face. This is the Offshore Chrono. Chocolate Face? Is that a Borat reference? No, that's, that's the type of dial, Clive. What do you Chocolate think? Chocolate Face. Okay. I gotcha. don't know. Borat. Okay. All right. What do you think of that? Do you like it or not? <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, doesn't... It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't uh, tickle my fancy. Okie dokie. Fair enough. I, I I I completely understand. How about this? How about this? If that doesn't tickle your fancy, tell me what you think of this. This is. Uh, this is another. Look at this. Audemars Piguet. It's not the offshore. This is the standard classic. Audemars Piguet steel. Royal Oak Chrono with the blue, blue dial boutique. I don't know when it wants these fancy wancy, but look at this one here. I think this is a black dial one. But is that a cool Chrono or not, Clive? Yeah, that is nice. God only knows what they charge to overhaul that. See, I don't know. I'd, I'd almost rather just get. If I was going to get a Royal Oak, I would just get a plain old Royal Oak. And yes. then just get a, and then got a chronograph. I mean, it's it's like it's like having an underwater diver. It's trying to do too many things at once. Yeah, agreed, agreed, agreed. Next piece, unless of course, unless you're timing submarine races. <laughs> yes, that's a that's a, a unless you are timing submarine races. Very, very, very good indeed, there, Clive. Which is completely um, different than Submariner races. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Now, I'm going to show you the probably the most sensible choice for this for this guy to go for. The most sensible choice. More sensible um, than the day date. Okay. Okay, more sensible because if you are going to pay retail, what do you think of this? It's yeah. a Paddock Nautilus annual calendar. 5726, Paddock Nautilus annual calendar. I think that is superb in stainless. Yeah. What do you think? Absolutely. That's You get it white? No, don't. I think go for the, the, the classic grayy blue dial. What do you think? Yeah, I, uh, yeah. In this case, white is not right. And finally, Clive, we're going to bring up something that I don't know why he's asked this, but okay, we'll, we'll we will uh, bring it up. He's mentioned a Breguet Type Twenty One. Now that was used by the French Air Force to time their surrenders, right? Thank you, Clive. Yes, yes, the surrender. Um, 
Clive, what do you think? What do you think, seriously, this piece here? What do you think? Definitely don't pay new. Don't pay new for this, would no. you? You know, I have to admit, though, uh, it, I think I could almost see that growing on me after a while. I think if, you, if you're going to... Now, the thing is this. I honestly think if you're going to buy new, you've got to buy new, right? You'd Right. No, if you're going to buy what? You'd be no, best you're... to go... You're going to buy new, pay retail, go to an AD. AD! The paddock would be the one that would retain the highest percent. The right. two Rolexes, you're going to... No, even... Yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, the APs, yeah. they are beautiful watches, but the, the reason why the AP used market for chronographs is so soft is because they are incredibly expensive to fix. Incredibly expensive. That's why a 10-year-old Maserati... Have, if you wanted to know why is a 10- to 13-year-old Maserati so cheap, okay, the answer is simple. Repair costs! Running costs! Running costs. Same with these APs. Why are APs chronographs so affordable on the used market? It's like buying a 13-year-old Maserati. You know, I've actually read Nothing that, against uh, Maseratis, but I'm just telling you the truth. Nothing against Maseratis. Now, Clive, this is where I want your input. Out of those six watches, which one really which 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 pieces float float the boat for you? You I'm not going to I'm going to shut up. I'm going to give you a chance to talk. Which piece floats the boat? Well, just based on style and the stacks alone, I, I think I like the Type 21. I like the Patek. And, uh, hmm, the Patek and the uh, it, Royal Oak Chronograph. I, I'd rather just have a normal, I, I, I'd rather have a Royal Oak without a Chronograph. But I, of the six, those those are the three I like. Which ones? Those just the, put that in order of preference. Number one. Patek Philippe. Number two. Mm. Maybe the Breguet. Number three. Um, the Royal Oak Chronograph. I would have to say, to be honest with you, I think in terms of which ones he won't lose his money, the worst performer there... For losing money would be the Breguet. I think the uh, the best performer would be the Paddock. I think the APs, look, the APs aren't, you know, they do hold a bit of value there, but, man, they're so expensive to service and maintain. The Rolexes are very good, usable pieces. And that those two there, the, they're yeah, great. They yeah, but you know the Rolex. You know, I, I understand your point because you know noble metal Rolexes; those are, take the biggest hit as soon as you walk out of the shop. But you know, as you pointed out with the AP, you're going to get uh, fisted immediately and fisted in the long term for servicing. I just got to just cover me, Clyde. All right. Uh, mind if I read some comments? He's run off. Hey, guys. What is the perfect watch for a lady boy? You're asking the wrong person. Uh, Rolex is for rednecks? Well, I guess I'm a redneck. Rolex is ugly. Sure, great. Off it. Awesome. Reggae drops like a brick and service will fist you, probably. Welcome back. Okay, Michael Ferguson, hi. Animal or Mike, hydrophonatic. Get rid of that tie. Look, I didn't feel like changing clothes after work. It's been a tough day. Uh, Arch will be quiet. That's rare. No, I don't. Well, okay. Lewis White. I, I'd buy a steel sky dweller and have some change. You know, I have to admit. Yeah, I, 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 I like the sky dweller because, you know, of course you don't want to, I'd, I'd get it steel obviously, but, um, you know, once you waited two or three years on the waiting list, I think, 
Uh, pink tie is iffy. Sure, well, you know, I'm actually secure enough by masculinity. Uh, Clyde working on the spot. Clyde nailed the order. Bob from, Bob from Brisbane. Howdy. Uh, Rich Pluta died today. Big watch guy. Oh, Rich P Piana. Okay. AP over Brigade, but regular raw. Yeah, we agree. Don Corleone. Uh, can I? Okay, the Roy, the OP Blue, 114300. I actually came pretty darn close to getting that. Um, I do like the blue. But for me, if I was going to get a, a OP39, it would be kind of a toss-up between blue and rhodium. I like blue better, obviously, but I think rhodium might go with more things, more colors. Man cannot love and live. <laughs> man cannot love. Uh, sorry. Man cannot live on actual luxury advice alone, hence Clive. I'm, no, I'm more the comedic uh, sidekick. Arch must have to trump. Sorry, must have to dump. Love the pink. Okay, thanks, guys. Uh, Archie interrupted you yet? Only a couple times, fairly minor. What is the difference between a ladyboy and a shemel? I probably, probably the fabric of the dress. I'm okay. Hey, Bob, love you. Uh, no homo. Yeah, I mean, love you guys too. There's different types of love. Not an Archie luxury ladyboy love, but you know, manly love. I just realized I made a fist as soon as I said that, so sorry. Uh, I think I think the Pontiff is getting it. He bought the lace of Brege. He got the wrong ones. They're sending him back. No, 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 no. You see, Archie does not have a love Asian slave that feeds him. Archie receives breakfast backyard deliveries from Pizza Pagoda of Brisbane. Uh, Bahamas, I think, one time. Now, let's see. I'd, Hello, Clive. How are you? You're oh. doing well there. All right. Have you... How, hey, how are the links on the Brigade going? Brigade, Brigade going? I sent the bracelet back. They haven't come back to me yet. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I, I kind of like the Breguet. The Breguet. Well, I don't think we really had a chance to talk about it. I, I think the Breguet has a nice little steampunk thing going to it, going for it. Yes. That's a very big yeah, word for someone from Oklahoma. Steampunk? Do you guys even know what steampunk is? Yes. But you know, I could almost see our H.G. Wells wearing one. Steampunk. Yes, yes, I understand exactly what you're saying. It is, it is, it is, it is very much like that. Um, I'd hate to see how much he's going to lose if he buys that new. Well, and I'll never, and I will never. I will keep this watch forever. That's the horological equivalent uh, of I will always love you. I will that, always. That, love that's you. the the horological equivalent of getting a tattoo with your girl's name on your body and you know the relationship is doomed as soon as you do that. Yeah, but you just keep dating girls with the same name. Take off your shirt. Oh, my God, your name is Brandy too? I guess we're destined to be together. Yeah, well, and like I said, I know tattoos are really popular. I get My parents were actually depression babies and I, they instilled me a dislike of tattoos i i guess i have that besides did you see my running, video on tattoos and luxury watches cut part of it yeah it, it has been a busy day it has been a really busy day let's cut the broadcast now we'll come back very soon with another live show clive is that okay one more absolutely it's the okay we're gonna cut it now